Right now, you're either looking for a job or you're creating one. In this very moment, you are either looking for an opportunity or you are creating one. You all know that I am Aurora Day and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. It's Money Monday, it's Money Monday, and we have got to talk about Mark Cuban. Yes, and I need all of the secured entrepreneurs to chime in on this, okay? Because in today's video, we are talking about how billionaire Mark Cuban, yes, owner of the Dallas Mavericks, Mark has really been very boisterous as it relates to what is going on with the U.S. economy. Last month, Mark was interviewed by CNN's Poppy Harlow, and he told Poppy that employers need to take care of their employees by paying them a little more and keeping them on their payrolls for as long as they possibly can. Now, we do know that Mark is definitely walking his talk because he has continued to pay the NBA team's hourly workers throughout this pandemic. Now, here's where Miss Aurora's ears perked up. He told Poppy that CEOs would do this out of necessity because if we don't have people working and spending money, then we don't have an economy, okay? We do know this to be the truth, all right? We are all the secured entrepreneurs, you know, standing on this. Are you creating opportunities or are you looking for one? Are you creating a job or are you looking for one? Y'all better tell Mr. World what's going on because this is really juicy, <laughs> okay? Because he goes on to say that he has an idea for a federal jobs guarantee program that would be a training in the healthcare industry for individuals to be trained on how to track and trace the virus. He said that these particular jobs would pay for themselves over time. So I'm sitting here thinking, okay, does Mark know something that we don't know? How long is this tracking and tracing of the virus going to go on? Because how is that creating stability? Because he mentioned that, you know, to create millions and millions of jobs so that people would be able to come off of the unemployment insurance. So I'm wondering, okay, how long is, is, is the training program? How long, you know, will the job actually be in existence, you know, as it relates to how long we're tracking and tracing the virus, okay? But I'm going to go on because he continued with these particular tweets. Okay, so Mark is now tweeting about the PPP program and how it's time for us to now admit that the program has not worked. First tweet, it's time to face the fact that PPP didn't work. Great plan, difficult execution, no one's fault. The only thing that will save businesses is consumer demand. No amount of loans to businesses will save them or jobs if their customers aren't buying. Well, all right now, Mark. Okay, let's get into this. All of the secured entrepreneurs know that we are on the business investor side of the cash flow quadrant. If you are not, there's really no way you're going to address this issue. Now, what Mark is saying is so very true. If we don't have consumer demand for our products and services, a loan is not going to cut it, okay? First of all, the, the, pay, the Paycheck Protection Program, what is it saying? 80% of whatever it is that you received was supposed to or is supposed to go towards keeping your employee on your payroll. How is it that a majority of individuals who were trying to apply and those who did apply and, and were denied, it's happening because you actually had no 
payroll. You are you are on the left side of the cash flow quadrant. You are in the self-employed, okay, side of the quadrant, okay. Now, even though we we know that the Paycheck Protection Program is geared towards small business, small businesses, small business owners of 500 employees or le or less, okay, many of you could not come in with one, two, three, four, or five employees, okay? So how is it that you are increasing demand for your product or your services, okay? Because the loan was not going to be free if in fact you did not have 80% of whatever you got to give towards your employees. So what Mark is saying is a stone cold truth in that the PPP program was just not going to work because of how people have structured themselves. Okay, now you all know that when you come into the secured entrepreneur movement, you're going from sole proprietor to CEO. And if you have any issues, you have some concerns, some difficulties, come on over to go from sole proprietor to CEO group on Facebook and Miss Aurora will break this down. Okay, Mark goes on to say, oh God, this is so good. Second tweet. It's time for trickle up economics. We need a transitional Fed jobs program that trains and hires millions for a federal tracking, tracing, testing program, as well as for support for at-risk populations, including long-term care. We need to dent unemployment with stable jobs. Now, here's, here's my only issue with this right here, because I get where Mark is going, and I need for the secured entrepreneurs to really talk about this, because in the text, in the, in the tweet, Mark is saying that he, he sees the PPP, which was put out by the federal government, as a fail. So how is it then that we are also now going to rely on the federal government to create a federal jobs training program that's going to work, okay? How are we now saying that we're gonna depend on the feds, as he put it in the tweet, to do this for the United States, to remedy the economy? Okay, now this is getting really, really, really good because he's going to go on to now talk about how much the program would actually cost. So I just want, I really want Mark to tie this together for crying in the rain, okay? Because here's where, here's where Miss Aurora is going. So far in all of the texts or tweets or whatever we're saying, because Miss Aurora is not really a, a tweety, tweety bird, okay? He did not say the entrepreneurs in this country. He did not say the business owners of this country. He's saying the feds failed with this PPP, but we're, but we're going to depend on you to put this other thing in place. I'm trying to figure out where we're going, okay? Third tweet. In addition, because this will take time, we need to consider an interim spending stimulus program. All 128 million households could get a $1,000 check every two weeks for the next two months that must be spent within 10 days of receipt or it expires. This use it or lose it program will, fourth tweet, cost $500 billion, but it will allow for demand for non-essential products and services to increase, hopefully keeping most businesses alive as we learn what the impact of reopening is on the spread and whether or not unemployment grows organically. So Mark has created his own stimulus program. Okay, he's created his own stimulus program. And it is a use it or lose it situation. You have to use the $1,000 that you would get every other week, because he said every two weeks, right? Or it will expire. Now, I commend Mark Cuban. And, and clearly, he's an intelligent man. He's an accomplished, intelligent entrepreneur, 
okay? Which is why I'm so baffled that he would even say it should be a federal program to employ millions, okay? Because he's not talking to his audience. Why is he a shark on Shark Tank? Who goes to see the sharks? Other entrepreneurs, other individuals who create things, products, services, okay? So now why is it that, you know, we have to ask the federal government to give, first of all, to create $500 billion, because that's what he's saying. It's going to cost $500 billion. So now we're asking the government to create $500 billion to give to United States citizens who need jobs, okay, so that they can go spend money. And right now they don't have jobs to spend money. So since they don't have jobs to spend money and we have a jacked up economy, let's go ahead and give these people a $1,000 check every two weeks that they have to spend within 10 days. So now within 10 days, we got people going out into their neighborhoods, their environments, okay, and they're spending money. Now, there's too many things that I, that I thought about this, and I want the secure entrepreneurs to really tell me what they think about this because when Miss Aurora came up, we had loads and loads of mom and pop establishments, okay? We had the bodegas, you know, we had, you know, average entrepreneurs, average small business owners who owned record shops, book shops, I mean, clothing stores, you name it. I think the biggest clothing store that, you know, people in my neighborhood went to was Alexander's. Some of you have never heard of Alexander's. Okay, Macy's. We went to Macy's. We were going to Bloomingdale's, okay? Stores like that. But for the most part in your neighborhood, the people who lived in your neighborhood owned the stores in your neighborhood and we were able to spend money with those people. Today, when you get, it, 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 you know, this proposed situation is gonna go to Target, okay? Whatever is in the parking lot of Target, what do you got, Ross, Old Navy, let's just start, you know, calling it out. All of these, you know, big corporations are, are getting your money. How does the secured entrepreneurs feel about this whole subject? All of what Mark Cuban is proposing, all of what he is talking about, chime in. You all know you can find me, Miss Aurora, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta